So tonight we have our show with Dustin Lynch, Granger Smith, a.k.a. Earl Dibbles Jr., Tara Thompson, and you guys are a big sponsor of that. Bass Pro Night Race presents this concert. Yeah. That's huge. Tell us about that. That's yeah, great. The concert is, we've been working really closely for the last few years with NRA Country. And we're so excited about what music means to us as a facility, but also uh, country music, being Bristol, the birthplace of country music, and Bristol Motor Speedway there. And so for us, have the opportunity to sponsor the concert and be here and have the pace car here and have some other things going on, we're excited about the concert tonight. This is uh, Gary Franklin out of Northern New Jersey. My buddy Dave Scott. NRA all the way, man. So you're at the Great American Outdoor Show here in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. And the last time I talked to you, it was, I think, in the middle of deer hunting season. Yep. And you'd been on the road a bunch, so season's finished up. I want to know, how did it go? Did you end up getting a buck? I did. I got a buck. I got a buck down in, uh, in South Texas. It's one of those things where all I have now is the picture because it's getting processed and I have to, I'm going to get a shoulder mount. Yeah. So Very cool. Then I'll open that box and, you know, however long it takes, six months, and then open it up and be surprised all over again. Let's talk about music. You have a top five song right now, If the Boot Fits. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's crazy. Um, second one in a row, which is which is crazy. So yeah, we feel very blessed to, to still keep it going. I think it's very cool and very bold of you that your album Out the Gate was titled Remington. What motivated you to call the album Remington? Well, I um, my first gun was a, an 870 that my dad gave me. Wow. And uh, I'm going to pass that down to, to my son. I think it's the most versatile shotgun you could have. That gun has, has meant so much to me over the years. I was writing a song one day, and I started kind of writing, going into, into writing a song about that gun. And when I was thinking, well, it's not that interesting to just write a song about a gun. So yeah. it became a love song to a girl where I was relating myself to the strength of that gun. Mm. I also love that you support our military and veterans so much. And I just found out, I know you've been doing it for five years now. Yes. Your boot, his boot walk. You have to check out bootwalk.com. Tell our fans, your fans, NRA TV about boot walk. And you just finished up one, correct? Yes, I did. So this is, uh, I, I've taken several tour entertainment tours to Iraq and it's, it's meant something to me for years. I've always felt like I get to play music and, and live out my dream and I'm allowed to because men and women my same age are, are choosing, volunteering to go overseas and put their lives at risk. When we learned, we saw so much in Iraq and uh, we wanted to be able to give back when we got home. So I started this 100 mile boot walk from South Austin to Fort Hood, walking 100, 100 miles. miles to raise awareness, to, to raise uh, you know morale and patriotism for these soldiers. This year is a little different and we've already done it. And um, we didn't talk about it, we didn't announce it because what we did is we filmed a documentary and I walked out in the desert of West Texas and each day of the course of five days I honored one fallen soldier, told his story um, and kind of brought to light the hero that he was because it's really cool and um, I can't say any more about it besides the fact that, that we're going to make this documentary, it's going to come out this year. Um, we're up north mm -hmm. but I, when I got here, I live in Nashville, when I got here I was like oh my gosh there's all these rednecks up here, I had no idea. A lot. Um, has but a I lot. saw this jacked up truck outside and it had Yee Yee on it and I was like, oh my gosh, is Earl Dibbles Jr. Yeah. himself here? So <laughs> Earl has a, a lot of supporters in Pennsylvania for sure. Yeah. Well, we can't wait to see your show and to see Earl's show later. Thank you. Can't <laughs> wait too. We love NRA Country! We love NRA Country! Love NRA country. Woo! This was the kids' Christmas gift this year. We got to meet some great people down in the exhibit halls. We just met Tara Thompson doing a meet and greet, and we couldn't be happier. We, we love NRA country. country! Woo! We are on location here at the Great American Outdoor Show, Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, with the man of the hour. Hey, hey. Dustin Lynch, you're performing tonight. You're headlining this show. Yes, it's awesome. You've been with NRA Country. You've been a friend of ours for a long time. Yeah. Last time I talked to you, we were knee deep in hunting season. Uh -huh. uh, deer season's over. It How is. was your season? It was amazing. I didn't get a shooter in range. I did yeah. a lot of bow hunting this year. I actually had a rifle in my hand and turned around. I felt so guilty because I was wanting a bow kill so bad. Um, 
I turned around when I got about 100 yards from the truck and went and got my bow instead. So you've got a whole farm in Tennessee? Yeah, yeah, I've got a place south of Nashville down there that I, I love, man, it's a little slice of heaven. Do you ever take any other country singers hunting out there? Yeah, actually out at this place is uh, right down the road, about 10 minutes is Luke's, one of Luke's places. Speaking of Luke, you did two tours with him. You're yes. on a tour now with Florida Georgia Line. How's yep. that going? Oh, it's amazing. It's great. Um, you know, Luke was was incredible, but this it's kind of like uh, after two years, you, you're kind of in the motion, and, and really everybody's great family and friends, and now we've been thrown into this whole new village of people. So this year I'm going to try and ride a little bit more out here. Speaking of riding, that album. It's coming, it's I coming. promise. Everybody's waiting for it. <laughs> no. Can you tell us I'm about it? I'm waiting for it, too. I'm making sure we have the exact songs we need. So uh, we're a couple songs away from from where I think we, we, we can put the bow on it and get it out there. I love your shirt. Thank you. This is his new company, yeah, right? Yeah, this is Stay my, this Country. Is my, Stay Country is, is a brand that it's we're... your lifestyle uh, brand, right? My lifestyle brand and, and um, big, big things coming with this this year. There um, you go. I, I hope I can talk about it soon, but it's going to be big. I, nice. can't, I can't believe it's happening, so it's going to be fun. Now, I saw on your Instagram um, you were dove hunting. Yes. What? Yeah. Let's talk guns. Okay. What was what were you using? What's your favorite shotgun? That was What's a friend's favorite? over and under. In, okay. In, uh, over in Raleigh, North Carolina. Um, That's where I'm from. Really? Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> I, we were out. It was it was a Luke stop. Uh, I think like two nights in Raleigh with, with Luke. And one of the mornings we got up and went went out there dove hunting at a uh, sweet potato farm. It was awesome. Luke blew me away for my end of tour gift. He bought me a uh, over and under Beretta. It's one of those guns where you're like, do I really want to take this to a, a hunt? Kind of just or look at it. Put it on the wall. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I just want to look at it. <laughs> but uh, I'll have to put it to good use this year. I haven't yeah. shot it yet. Can't wait. I hear you. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we can't wait to see it on Instagram. You will. Trust me. I'll brag about it. I hear you. I love NRA country. We, we love NRA country. We love NRA country. Well, another one in the books. That's a wrap, guys. It's been an amazing, great American outdoors show. We had such a great time with Tara Thompson all day at the show. Then concert by Tara, Granger Smith, Dustin Lynch. It's been great. Huge shout out to our supporter tonight, Bass Pro Night Race at Bristol. Make sure you get tickets to that, and we'll see you next year. We love